Hello, and welcome back to Hidden Gems and Other Oddities with me, Darcy Bits. This is Paradise Killer. With me today is B. B. Hi. You were here last time. You got yeah, some yeah. catching up to do. You do, yeah. Paradise Killer. Paradise Killer. We, uh, let's see, we started off. Love that is, we've seen this before, yeah, highly love that. It's a nice one. Um, what are you doing on the, on the escalator? We, we've never seen any escalators on the island, so yeah. it is a little unsettling. Yeah. But, uh, let's see if I can catch you up in the broadest of terms. Um, oh, oh, dog. Are you, are you a dog again? Yeah, of course, it's Bear John. Have you never been Bear John? No, no. I asked if you met if you met Beatron again. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what do you have to say? There's been lots to talk to him. Hmm. There you go. So we started last time on the docks outside of um, Doctor Doom Jazz's pleasure yacht, yeah. and uh, I thought, let's go talk to him. He's right here. So. Yeah, we we did, and um, we had to ask a bunch of questions that we had previously not had available to us. Um, and and we also had the opportunity to uh, hang out again. After hanging out, um, he had some extra juicy details for us uh, about something, probably. I don't remember what, but something, I'm sure. Um, after that, Wandered around the island, picked up a few items, and found myself uh, on the front step going towards um, uh, Carmelina. Okay. And I thought, oh, hey, Carmelina, you're important. Yeah. I should talk She's to important. you. So I went and talked yeah. to her and got to ask a few information things, uh, mostly pertaining to uh, Witness, right? That was a whole thing that we learned was Witness. Um, oh, well, about Witness. Well, this is Carmelina spent the night together, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which is a big deal. This is already used, right? Uh, yeah. And, um, we also got to hang out with her again. And we also, and Harris this time, she had some extra juicy details for us after hanging out, which was something. Um, I don't recall what that was referring to either. So, very good uh. recap. Um, we also got all of the, um, what do you call it, uh, the red crests on the council building. Oh, cool. What did that, uh, lead to? It was five blood gems. Blood crystals. Oh. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be anything more than some crystals, but, um, yeah, I did I think it would so. be more than two, and I was right. It was five. Um. I get, mm, yeah. What? We, we just spent those blood crystals somewhere. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think... We're getting to the point where it might behoove us. Um, is that a pun? Hmm, that might be a pun. I don't know if, if it has to do with horses, I guess, or... No, ghosts. Oh, oh ghosts have hooves. Uh, it oh, might yes, behoove us to go um, pay a visit to Crimson Acid. Okay, yeah. Because she will sell us information. Yeah, but she doesn't actually have... She has hands, because it's just her head. That's, a, that's true. But it can yeah. still be a pun. I guess. Is it a pun if it's accidental? If you say no pun intended, does it actually stop being a pun? Yeah, yeah, just you didn't intend for it. Hmm. I do mean it's not, yeah. I don't know. The philosophical, the philosophical questions on Paradise Killer. Yeah. So there's something up there. Um... Yeah, we're really combing this island now. Like, That's really yeah. about it in this area. Yeah. What if we can get up there? Let's see. That building. Alright, cool. <laughs> so, uh, I think Crimson Ass is a good choice to be on our list. Um, we do still, other than the fact that we need to talk to everyone, like, that's kind of irrelevant. We're going to talk to everyone eventually. But, um,. I do want to get the phones back to the people we took their phones from. That just seems like the polite thing to do. Uh, can we go in the back? Yeah. We just, they said bring them back to us after you scanned the records. We'll bring them back and we'll be like, hey, yeah, this is what I, I found about good. your records. Let me let me tell you why you're terrible. Oh, uh, do we wait? Do we get Sandy Daybreak's phone? Who? That's where we're going. 
Oh, no, I, I'm of... just coming up here because it's um a high point. Oh, okay. oh yeah. I see. Cool. No, we didn't get Sam's phone. All right, let's see. Huh. I don't really see much. It's a couple yeah. things over there. Here. Yeah, he on that ledge. There. Yeah, I, I, I definitely can. It just, you know, is that a Shinji? Oh, it's a Shinji. Is that a Shinji? Pretty sure it's a Shinji. Yeah, it is. You wanna go talk to Shinji? Well, it's easier to go uh, down than up. So let's let's try and do these ones first. Okay, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. All right. So should I be a bit more proactive about talking to people? Probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Oh, hello. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. What's the, what's on the thing above us, though? I think that's the uh, Ziggurat, right? I guess so. Yeah, I guess I'm not very familiar with that. I think it's the Opulent Ziggurat. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, it looks like, yeah. Mm hmm. Cool. What's that building? The, uh, that's the council building? No, I think it's the barracks. Okay. Which reminds me, I want to see if I can sneak into the barracks. You know how, like, when you try and go to the barracks, they don't want you oh, to. Oh, yeah, it was a Nightmare computer, but we have the stuff right now, right? Oh, yeah, I do want to find all the Nightmare computers. Good call. Yeah, very good call. Um, do you think uh, I can let's make go this? For it. I was about to say yes, but I guess that's wrong. <laughs> um, because I was, I was on the roof the other day, and I looked down through the slats in the ceiling and I went, I can see people in there. There's stuff to do in there. I kind of assumed I'd never go in, but nope, I can see inside. Um, a little stuck, it looks like. There we go. Citizen housing, quality of life. The quality of life. How do you think I get on top of this building? I guess I could climb up the stairs. That'll work, right? Ooh, mm -hmm. hello. Yeah. This thing. I think mean, that's how we got up there last time, right? Probably. Or was it a different building? Oh, I mean, there's lots of buildings. So maybe. It's impossible to know. Yeah. Ooh. I recognize the song. Alright, that's enough of that. Um, cool. We're almost at the top. <laughs> that go? Just another house, okay. Since I'm here. Mysteries are revealed. Um, something I right there the that we literally just missed. I, I, can't, I can't really hear it over your voice. What? Uh, the music. Um, do you want to just turn up your Discord? Uh, I did, but then your words are loud. I don't know, yeah. My phone. Um, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, what you're see oh. hearing from me is it 200? Uh oh, here we go. I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I know. I'm sorry, I, I had a brain fart. It's good. It's good. Yeah. So there's that one there, and there's something here that I can't quite s see. Oh yeah. Where is well, that? Well, it's on the other side. Looks like yeah. Maybe. Yeah, it's, it's on the staircase, so it's like, yeah. Well. <laughs> so much for all that climbing up the stairs. I climb down the stairs and I can go climb back up those stairs again. Yep. Okay. Heck yeah. Recondite Ornate Book. An ornate collection of tales of the silent goat given as a coming of age present. I don't know the word recondite. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. I haven't heard of it either. Mm. If you know that word, leave in the comments. 
Or you could like oh, yeah. check, like look for it right now, actually, if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, but like the algorithm. What? <laughs> I guess. I guess that's true. Yeah. yeah, leave it in the comments. Leave a lots of comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like transcribe this whole thing in the comments uh, if, if you wanna. If you, you wanna. You don't have to, but if you, if you wanna. If you wanna. Blood crystal obtained. Blood crystal obtained. Well, I jumped down, and now I have to go back up again. <laughs> you gotta get down to get up to get down. What? I don't think that's how that goes. Yeah. Maybe. How does anything go? Just some protection. Climb. There it is. Is it compact protection? Is that what it said? Just the same protection. Oh, I thought it changed for some reason. Yeah. Is that shit? Yeah. No, it's a guard. Oh, I can just walk on oh. this. Sweet. Right, let's get in there. So there's right, like some right. kind of. There it is. <laughs> all right, let's crack all these computers. Nightmare computer. Nightmare computer. Does that fit? Mm. Uh, we need a column, so yeah. Um, I think it's this one. Oh yeah. I've gotten pretty good at those ones actually. Mm. Wow, nice. Heck yeah. There's no reward for speed. Oh, I'm just gonna go in there and people are gonna see me, huh? Good. Oh, no. I mean, we could save beforehand, but Drop. yeah. We could save beforehand? What? Yeah, no. like, 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 weirdo. That's not Oh, yeah, but I'm supposed to be here? I am supposed to be here. Otherwise, how could I get yeah. in? Yeah. That's that's how things work. It's the will of the gods, really. It's true. This is a restricted area. Get out of here, freak. I have a bad feeling about this. Nice. Good 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 voice line choice. <laughs> I'm the investigator appointed by the judge. Irrelevant. These are martial grounds. I'll escort you out. Oh, this is self section? Get out! Stay out, freak. I have a bad feeling about this. I need to find a way in there. Truths may be hidden in the barracks. Yeah, stealth section, let's go! Do you think it's a stealth section, or do you think I yeah. need, like... Is it a hitman? Like, let's put on a... A disguise. Um, I don't know. I wonder if it's a way you can get that. Get, if it's just fighting the area that it wouldn't be noticed by them. Uh, I mean, oh, there I doesn't seem to be going. any uh, downside of getting caught. Yeah. I mean, it would be really funny if it turns out there is. And it's like, a flag has changed. I mean, probably at least one flag has changed. Someone's going to be like, I can't believe he snuck in. Um, but I don't think it's going to have a repeated flipping flap. Where yeah, I, I think so. Am I in the right spot? Uh, tur turn around, turn around. Is that the barracks? Uh, no, so, uh, turn, here, ah. that's the barracks, over there. Alright, cool. So, I don't expect this to work, but I do expect me to try it again. <laughs> hey, you seen that, um, this is a little bit off topic. Uh, there was a, uh... Um... Uh, yeah, you see, yeah, because you're not like in like a. Uh... So maybe if you can like just jump over that guy. This yeah. Oh no. You didn't see me. Get out of here, freak. Uh. Irrelevant. Get out. <laughs> That's out, so like. I don't like this. It's really impactful because it's like the only thing like that yeah oh that's really good i like that a lot get out get out what are you doing here 
I, oh, I wonder if Crimson Acid can sell you something that can get you in there. Maybe. Let's go talk to Crimson Acid. Yeah. It's been honored to do this for a while. Yeah. Woo! Nice. Uh, I love the idea of stuff like that. Cool. No fall damage parkour. That's right. I hear some people have, like, dreams that they're falling. I have dreams that I'm, like, doing cool jumps like that. Really? Heck yeah. Oh, that's cool. I wish I had dreams like that. I wish I had dreams. Hmm? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Where's the acid? Did that pass her? Where it's, is she? It's just being dramatic. I need dramatic. Oh, there she is. Uh, she's over there, yeah. Well, she's kind of over there, right? I need to find the actual way in, and then there's a little bit of tunnel before I get to her, I think. So just right, hitting cool. in a beeline's not really gonna do it, I don't think, if I recall correctly. Yeah. I don't really recall how to find her, though. This is an apartment, Compact Paradise. Oh, that's why I saw the word compact. Hmm. Crimson Acid, I forgot where you are. Why can't I call you on a phone? This one right there. I mean, I guess I could, like, teleport in, probably. Via the phone network. Oh, yeah. Uh, hmm. I, I kind of want to see just, like, what the map is, like, if you want to... The map? Yeah. Yeah, like, like, you know, like, you know, like, if you're a fast traveler, you're going to, like, show you all the... Oh, what the fast the travel other. map looks like. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very curious about that, too. I definitely want to do it sometime. Okay, cool. Yeah. Gardens, celebrating achievements. Yeah. That's what gardens do. Yeah. The achievement being, we have a garden. Yeah. It celebrates itself. It's very Yeah. Cool. Yeah, very efficient like that. Very efficient, yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Alright, this is the wrong spot. I'm just walking around through the water for no reason. Getting your shoes wet. I you know. know like, it's such a thing as, like, in video games where I was where born it's, like, to investigate. Yeah, yeah, it's such a thing in video games where it's, like, stuff that, like, would be really obnoxious. In real life, it's just not a video game. I it's do like, wonder you know, about that water. sometimes. Could you make a game where, like, annoyance was a meter you had? Yeah. Like, doing things, your characters be like, I don't want to, right? Like... Yeah. And, like, sure, uh, like, you might have, like, a... I don't know, um... Like, an adventure game. Well, where you, like, have yeah. to get the boots before you can walk through the water just because your character doesn't want to, right? But the idea of having it as, like, a meter, like, oh, yeah, you can do it, just you'll take annoyance damage. Well, yeah, I guess, yes, yeah, it's, it's like a thing of, like, most of the time being take place in very dramatic circumstances, so, like, you know, in that case, like, yeah, of course I'm gonna walk through the water, like, so I don't die to zombies or whatever, but, like, yeah, like... Yeah. Yeah. No. Is she over here? Am I just completely wrong? I guess so. I guess you're just completely wrong. Wow. Wow. How did you get so completely wrong? I don't know. Hmm. Sure, probably should avoid being completely wrong most of the time. Yeah, that's a good decision. Yeah. Just don't. Yeah, it said uh, just do the right things. Yeah. Be like, you know, correct. Being correct is my number one strategy. Mm -hmm. It's like that office thing of like, think, before you do a thing, think, would an idiot do this thing? And then if that's the case, don't do it. Do it. Oh. Uh, no, no, don't. Uh, the opposite, yeah. Oh, okay. So this is Crimson Acid's house, right? Okay, cool. I mean, it's not really her house, but sure. Hi, Crimson Acid. I'm going to walk past you. What's over here? Ooh, that's Ooh. nice. Did you get that phone? Yeah, I did. Turns out, yes. All right. Hi, Crimson Acid. What up? Now, what did you sound like? I don't remember. Right, I can buy a. Can place. I help, lady? Can I help, lady? Oh, I wonder if these are all been unique. I haven't noticed. Oh, I wonder, yeah. Case files. All right. Uh, a lot of people have been pointing fingers at you, Crimson. So I get a lot of questions before I start buying info from you. Yeah. The investigator is here. You know, he's got some things to say about you. Don't be coy. I bet he does. Oh, oh, I like your voice. He isn't my biggest fan. I don't really remember it, so I'm, you know, 
we'll take a sec to get into the right voice, I'm sure. Yeah. He says you want to be a soldier again. He says you want to be in the marshals. Secrets breed mysteries. Secrets... Secrets breed mysteries. Secrets... I'm trying to, I can't figure out if that's accented or, like, in a specific way, or it's just, like, kind of soft and nice. I don't know. Yeah. How'd you two start talking about that? Got it. Asking around about motives. We're in a dark time. There it is. And he thinks that's enough to be my motive? That I'd kill the council just to try to get to be a marshal? Are you denying it? No. It's true, lady. It's true. Lady, do you really think that's a motive for mass murder? Right, it's true that that, that is a thing I want, but it, I wouldn't kill people over it. Yeah. When we actually talked to her the first time, and we were like, Hey, Crimson Acid, what's your motive? She was just like, these are all the reasons I would have to kill them. Just like, sure. on the table. Because I don't want someone else pointing fingers at me. Yes, I would do it. Like, these are reasons why I might have done it. I didn't, but these are why I would have, right? It was really cool. Yeah, I, yeah, I think this seems tenuous, but... Yeah. Doubt, tenuous, or conviction, state of terror. What? I don't... I'm gonna, like, do you, I'm gonna do you, say this. Oh, you know, no, it's like, if, do you think do you think that uh, it is a, mo is, is a reason to murder the council, or do you think it's not a reason to murder the council? Um, I think it could be a reason. The, I'm not saying uh, she did it. I'm saying I think it is a reasonable, like, it is a... It is a motive that could hold up to scrutiny. Okay, uh, okay, yeah, sure. I think so. By creating a state of terror, you can make a strong case for it. Lady, 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 you're letting the snakes get to you. That little plan you've cooked up is a hell of a stretch. There's absolutely no guarantee it would work. If I did do it, don't you think that the marshals would circle the wagons? Everyone is a suspect. You can't have a potential murderer joining the marshals. The investigator is here. What if you were working with Akiko? Then why would she tell you? What was that? It was like a voice line that got cut off. Oh. I'll let you off since Exile has obviously dulled your reasoning. You come out with garbage like this, and our arrangement may come to an end. Okay. Oh, in that case, do you want to just go buy some stuff from her now, in case, like, we... Ooh, blunt or interrogate? Uh, let's not be blunt. Let's do this. I don't think it matters which order I say these in. I think I'm going to say both of them, but... Okay. We'll interrogate first. I found a tuft of your hair at KHX's workshop. And... Crime cannot hide. That puts you at the scene of a disappearance. Come on, lady. You know that doesn't prove anything. We need to talk, Acid. Me. You never call me Acid. The facts and the truth are not the same. Why was KHX accusing you of stealing the key of the second Holy Seal? What do you mean? Shit! <laughs> Crime is repulsive. This makes you a prime suspect. Spill it. Your truth is wrong. I promise I didn't kill the council. I need you to know that. Don't test me. Get on with it. The Holy Seals are the Holy Grails of secret hunters. They're so locked down and under wraps. That does make sense. Yeah. Money. Huh. Yeah, that's just to say time is money there, but I got cut off weird. I was losing sleep each night thinking about them. I knew KHX designed the second seal, so I started talking to him. I feel like I'm doing the same voice for Acid as I do for Lydia. It's weird. Mm-hmm. I also knew he was obsessed with me. Ah. Uh. Obsessed? What do you mean? More than I expected. I thought he was just horny for me. But... But he had got into his head that if we achieved perfection on the next island, he'd ascend to heaven. Crime is repulsive. His diary called you his queen in the astral heaven. Good snooping, lady. Since I'm blessed by the gods, he coveted me as a trophy queen. Weird. That guy was out of his mind. I have a bad feeling about this. You need to keep using... You keep using the past tense. Thank you. I'm not stupid. The council got on the bad side of a killer, and the person who designed part of his, their security is missing. He's either dead, or might as well be. Paradise feels wrong. 
Did you do it? It gives me every time. I really like it. Did you do it? Did you do it? <laughs> if, I, if I say it suddenly, then you might like you know, get Kyle's card and just say yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do it? Who knows? Please. Even if he was going to squeal... Even if he was going to squeal to Montserrat, I talked him down. Strung him along in a relationship I, I could persuade him to do almost anything. Except give you the secret to the second holy seal. There was a data key he guarded. I took it and made a copy. How did you copy it? That was our voice. How did you copy it? It doesn't add up. You ask a lot of questions. I was born to investigate. Someone in Masahiro Heavy Industries owed me a favor. That favor was an hour in one of their high-end computer labs. High-end computer labs. Turned out to be heavily encrypted digital key on a flash drive. I put the key back in his workshop, apologized profusely, did something to take his mind off of it. Sure. Did you use the key? Business is business. No. I know where to... I know where and how, though. The obelisks on the beach, he works on them. Got it. And that's the second seal secret. <laughs> no, there's more, but I don't know what. Why didn't you use the key? Me. Bad vibes, lady. I could feel it in the air. Things were happening on the island. Is this a fact? Or a truth? This still makes you a suspect, Crimson. I know. Uh, can you, uh, yeah, can you buy some stuff from Starlight, if you don't mind? Because I don't, I don't want to be able, to, I don't feel like we should be free to make her upset about, uh, locking us out stuff. You want to buy some secrets before we do any more case questions? Yeah. I mean, I genuinely don't believe that she will lock us out, but sure. I mean, it's pretty heavy telegraph. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, nah. It's it, okay. Um, Sterling upgrades are just skins. How can I help, lady? Uh, we already bought um, the only actual upgrade she had, right? Obviously, we have got all four. Um, yeah. And here we can buy skins. So it's just random, too. I don't know where they come from. I don't know if she just has like 10 skins she has available to her and you have to go buy them one at a time or what. But uh, they're kind of expensive. Okay, we'll see. But, um... Oh, where uh, are the actual questions? Case files? Hmm. Maybe they're case files. Huh. What? What? What are you looking for? Well, I'm supposed to be able to buy secrets from her. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to these. Akiko's motive. Why would Akiko kill the council? Business is booming. Secrets aren't free. So, he, oh right, we, this is how you do the secrets. Yeah. Oh, right. it's in case files. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess we're gonna start buying things. Yeah. So I held off on buying any of these blood crystal secrets uh, the first time I have to uh, crimson acid, but I have returned. Yeah. We have almost hundred, so yeah. Yeah. Or plus, closer to 100, yeah. Mm. I wonder if there's a hoarder achievement for actually hitting 100 before you spend them all. I mean, obviously we haven't been doing that. We've been buying all these, like, pop cans and stuff. Yeah. Deal. Good work. Good crystals. Minimal imperfections. Akiko is a soldier through and through. She's also their leader. They're the only family she's ever wanted. The marshals aren't syndicate, though. They're citizens. A security measure by Montserrat. They don't have our immortality. They don't get moved between islands. Sure. That makes them expendable, too. Precisely. I have my ways. Akiko has endured a millennia of sadness watching her troops die to get left behind. Or get left behind. She wants them in the Syndicate. Get them gene therapied up and create a battalion of immortal soldiers. Italian. There you have it. It's a battalion. <laughs> no? It's a battalion now. Okay. Battalion of mortal soils. I like battalion. Ooh, I'm gonna write that down. 
Okay. <laughs> and a heart heartache. She has motioned the syndicate to try and get her marshals inducted. Been refused every time. She's hurting and she's angry. Okay. What does she get from murdering the council? She wouldn't be promoted to to a position where she can change the rules and keep her marshals alive between islands. She'd use the murder to scare the new council. The untouchables became touched by the hand of death. She can argue for increased militarism, militarization on the next island, scapegoat it on a citizen, and panic the next council into creating martial law with troops inducted into the syndicate. Ooh, the investigator is here. Use loyal troops rather than expendable troops. Precisely, Montserrat was always scared of immortal soldiers having dangerous thoughts and leaving a coup. If Akiko did this, she proves that the threat isn't from the marshals. Mm. Is that well, true? if that what? is, if Akiko did this, she proves that the threat isn't from the marshals. Well, yeah, because if it says, uh, it's, 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 he's being a citizen. Okay, yeah, it's not if Akiko did this. It's it's uh, if Akiko pins it on him. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Got any proof? Thank you. Sure do. Pull this from the Moon database. You never know when something like this will will come in useful. Mmm. Uh, Thanks. Oh, she's gonna have a lot of evidence, yeah. Oh, I have, it, have it here, let's read this. Oh, okay. Uh, in the, in the chat log. Uh, sure, okay. Motion 0775006006A, motion presented by Grand Marshal Akiko 14. Details, motion tabled to the council. Grand Marshal Akiko 14 formally requests that the God Justice Marshals are inducted into the syndicate. Motion was declined. Unanimous vote. See also historical motions. Bunch of other motions that uh, she's kept trying this over and over again. Cool. Okay, cool. Lady, there's more. Haven't got proof, so I'm charging you for what I'm about to say. So I'm not charging you for what I'm about to say. Akiko falls in love with her troops. That's why she hurts so much. She has had a string of relationships throughout the islands. <gasps> so someone special on this island. <laughs> Captain Voth, he's the highest ranking marshal under Akiko. Mm. That's a big deal. Relationships with citizens is not allowed. Mm. Um, we, uh, when we were talking to Doom Jazz last time, Doom yeah. Jazz is like, ah, just, you know, love everyone kind of a thing, right? You, you, you know him. And um, yeah. he's like, it's not that big of an island. <laughs> the syndicate's not that large. He's just uh -huh. like, well, you know, Lots of people, <laughs> and you're like, no, it's, uh, it's not. That's forbidden. You can't have relationships with citizens. He's like, yeah, well, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, they came out in that conversation. Yeah. The highest ranking marshals are are chosen to guard the council during the birth of a new island. What the hell? So he was murdered last night. Who knows? Looks that way. Captain Bar. Oh, but but maybe not because again the. They might not actually have been. Captain Voth was one of the Holy Seal Marshals, but yeah, they weren't actually them, right? That's what we yeah, learned. Yeah, possibly, so, yeah. The people that were supposed to be there were replaced, so Voth might be still alive. Yeah. Mm. So if her lovers are dying when the island ends, her motive is to kill the Council to push her agenda through, get her Marshals into the Syndicate, and make them immortal. The Investigator is here. That's a pretty big bet to make. Secrets breathe mysteries. I agree. Something doesn't add up. Sure. I'm not convinced Voth died last night. Secrets breathe mysteries. Don't tease, lady. That sounds like a secret. Don't secrets have a cost? Secrets are dangerous. I'll refund you for our earlier transaction. Ooh. Yeah, let's go, yeah. Ooh. Give me that money, yeah. I, I love. I, yeah, I just like making deals. For me. <laughs> I just think this is a bigger secret than the one she gave us. Secrets are not always two two blood crystals. Sometimes they're like ten. Yeah, but no, no I think like I think like this might let her corroborate, corroborate stuff and get more secrets. Uh maybe. Maybe. I, I, I don't I see I have a motive to be secretive. 
unless the game lets me, like, haggle. <laughs> the only reason I have to be secretive is to haggle, and I guess I don't really need to. Yeah, no, we have something about crystals. I mean, we don't. Yeah. We really don't, is the thing. You haven't seen the price of these, uh... Yeah, fair. Well, okay, let's go. Uh, I, say, I say, let's get our money done. Yeah. <laughs> it's a deal. Taking my first steps into the secret trading industry. Good. Pleasure doing business. Blood crystal obtained. Uh, Ooh, I would like more than the one, thank you. investigator is here. The dead marshals outside the council building aren't marshals. The blood doesn't match. Doesn't add up. So where are the real marshals? Working on it. Don't be coy. <laughs> if you want to enter the viper's nest, you could try the barracks. If I was a marshal looking to lay low, I'd be in there. They don't let anyone in. Got it. I'll see what I can find. Okay, got it then. Chain two. Carmelina's motive. Why would Carmelina want to kill the council? Thank you. You know this costs, right? One. Thank you. Pleasure doing business. Carmelina isn't allowed on the council. The Silence family was barred from ever being on the council. You remember her father's crime, right? Romeo's fall from grace? I know all this, this isn't a secret. He was deceived by cosmic deceit. Bingo, cosmic deceit deceived him with promises of power. Standard stuff. Cosmic deceit wanted Romeo to sacrifice crying grudge in a ritual. That would give cosmic, cosmic deceit enough power to resurrect. Honey. Resurrecting the gods is our mission but not at the expense of deceptions and sacrificing other gods. Okay, cool. Okay, then that's close. I mean, I mean we've stuck this much, but yeah. Yeah. Romeo was stopped before he could go through with it. His punishment was execution, and the rest of his family being barred from a council seat for eternity. Okay, that's- we know all this. That's not- that's- that's nothing we don't know. Hypothetical motive. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm not confused. Yeah. Let's say she killed the council. Don't be coy. You mean how she's on the throne right now? What? Uh. Could she have been sure she she? Could she have been sure she would would have been on the new council? That the law would be overturned. It's a gamble. She's the architect of Perfect 25. If the transition to the new island goes sideways, she's a good candidate to handle it. That's not a sure thing, though. Who knows what other options the judge consider? Impossible to know how they interpret the law. Yeah. You okay, B? Yeah, I'm okay. yeah I guess I got like, a little bit of hag. You just, you seem like you are moving around and not, I, I, you sitting up? Yeah, I'm good, yeah, I'm good. Okay, I can't hear you very well is what I'm saying. Also, oh, sometimes you get um, your mic. Oh, oops. Uh, how is this? That sounds good. There you go. Okay. If this was a goal, I bet you... I bet she was planning on bargaining with the new council on the new island. Get them to overturn the ruling after delivering Perfect 25. Has Carmelina protested the ruling in the past? She submitted motions to have the ruling overturned and to get on the council. All have been denied, though. That is big information. We didn't know she's ever actually tried to get on. Yeah. Right? It's like, oh, we know that she might be motivated and wanting to get on the council because she's not allowed to, but like, that's not the same thing as actually wanting to, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So that's interesting. Can I see these motions? I have my ways. Of course. Pull them from the moon database. I'll give you a little extra for free. I don't know if this helps with anything, though. Hit me. About 25 years ago, Carmelina went into isolation for a year. No one saw her. That's weird. Any idea why? That's strange. She said it was for work. She had a new project and didn't want to be disturbed. Nothing ever came of it, though. We were never shown the fruits of her labor. Sure. Why do you think this matters? You know, when you get a bad feeling and it festers, maybe I just needed to say it out loud. Maybe it means something. I'll see what I find. Doom Jazz. 
question Doom Jazz motive or investigate. A photo of Aiko. Mm. Let's mm. See, investigate first. Why does Doom Jazz have a photo of Akiko? Gotta pay, lady. Really? Okay, sure. Good work. He was in a relationship. He still loves her. Okay, it's not really. Didn't work out. She can't relate to people who aren't soldiers, and he can't keep his dick. I don't know how to bleep that with my mouth. Also, it's the word dick. Alright. Mm. Keep his dick in his pants. Crimson's past or confused? Strange choice. Hmm. Do we uh, cheeky? I mean, do we be cheeky? Is that right? I mean, I mean like, I'm kind of curious about Crimson's past with Zoom Jazz. I don't know. Sure. Let's let's ask you. Personal experience. You're one to talk. Okay. <laughs> we have another question too, though. Why would Doom Jazz kill the council? Nice doing business with you. Got the cash for that secret? This is a big one. The syndicate's origins aren't what they seem. Three crystals. <laughs> <laughs> he knows the original secret. Thank you. Before the first island, during the Great Betrayal, Montserrat made a mistake that got Doom Jazz's father killed. This was before you joined up with the Syndicate. He was our original military general, a legendary soldier. I'd always heard rumors about him before I joined the Syndicate. There weren't many humans the gods feared, but he was one of them. When the Syndicate fled to the first island, Montserrat made a stupid call to get invested to investigate a tomb that was supposed to contain a heavenly weapon. He was wrong. There was nothing there. Doom Jazz's father attempted to hold off the pursuing armies during Montserrat's folly. It was too much. Our pursuers broke through and killed half of the syndicate before we got, out, got away. We're in a dark time. The incident was struck from history, but some of the existing council members know about it. Ice Kawami likes to talk when he had a let isn't he's dead, right? I think it is, yeah. Ice Kawami is uh Henry's illegitimate father. Ah, okay, cool. Um And other things too. He was relevant before we found that connection, but I don't remember yeah. why. He's on the council. I think he's uh, Yeah, yeah, he he died he's the Did he die did he die like last night? Oh, I don't yeah, remember. I'll blink that up. I'll blink that up. But, um, we've seen Crimson refer to dead people in the past tense. Yeah. So it makes me wonder if she's telling us that Ice is alive, or it's a typo, or if I'm just completely off base. I'll see. Yeah. Ice hurts itself. Ice Kawami likes, likes to talk when he's had a drink, and Doom Jazz was his closest friend. He let the secret slip. <laughs> was. Okay, so she used she, have... she did use past tense for was, but not for like. Whatever. I have my ways. Ice Kawami had some skeletons in his closet. He got found out the next island was going to be a bad time for him. He took his own life a few years ago. I is a different person. What? No, this is the same person. They just they they they, they died before last night. I couldn't remember if they died last night or not. Oh, I yeah. think I think they were on the council but they died last night. They didn't, they didn't hmm. die last night, is what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. That's rare, or question history. Hmm. Um, I, I, I mean, and I always more interested in asking questions than yeah. just yeah. amusing. Yeah. They've been friends since the Great Betrayal, hadn't they? Eyes got Doom Jazz out of the torture chamber when he lost his arms. Doom hmm. Jazz refused to give up his medical studying, even as the haunted ziggurat in Scotland was besieged. He was captured, tortured, and fled after eyes broke him out. They were late joining up with the Syndicate, and Doom Jazz missed his father's death. By that time, it had been covered up. Montserrat was planning on doing a similar operation that got Doom Jazz's father killed. Suicide mission for Akiko, Doom Jazz found out. Montserrat was planning on doing a similar operation to die Doom Jazz. Or just like a, a similar operation this time, Akiko would probably die. I see. Cool. Right, and they're in a relationship. Cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's weird. So he'd killed the council to protect her. 
Wouldn't you kill a bureaucrat to save the person you love? Oh. Interesting. Inquire at the daybreaks. What do you know about Lydia and Sam? Business is business. I know that will that will cost you. I know that it will cost you. That's it. Okay. <laughs> That's good. That's, I didn't deliver yeah. that line right, but it was a good line. <laughs> I know the last job. That's weird. What last job? Don't be coy. Back in the day, Lydia told you that she, after she met Sam, they left the world of assassination for good, right? It, it isn't that easy. Once you're in, in that world, you're bound to it until you fulfill all of your duties. An assassin is the most effective tool in the world. All tools have owners. Whoa! Yarny is raiding with 15! Holy crap! Oh, hello. Hi, everyone! Welcome hey. in! This is Paradise Killer. We're yeah. interrogating a goat headed woman who is also oh. a pop idol and a secret keeper. Yeah, we're not really interrogating or paying her money. We're bribing her. Yeah. I mean, I guess. I mean, I don't mean interrogate in like a like a like super aggressive way, but we did previously like straight up be like, "Hey, let me just. I need to move this slightly. Give me a second. There we go. I didn't have that properly on the top layer. All right. Hi, Wyarnia. Welcome in. Uh, I don't know if you caught uh, my little explanation I just did, but yeah, welcome in everybody. This is very exciting. Um, I'm gonna keep playing because uh, this is mostly a, a YouTube video, but uh, I, I super appreciate the raid and everyone chatting. In order to leave their old life behind, Lydia's former master had had her do one last job. She had to destabilize a government in Europe. Several dead officials allowed for a regime change. <gasps> Why didn't she tell me this? We've been friends for millennia. That's not an exaggeration. Yeah. She's ashamed. They vowed to end the killing. Sam helped her do the job. They were in it together. It's not as romantic as the story they told everyone, is it? <laughs> Always be suspicious of romantic stories, lady. Life doesn't work like that. Yeah. Don't test me. Is this what the council murder is? A regime change? Thank you. Who can say? Was it revenge? Crime of passion? A regime change? You've got some investigating to do. That's my line. <laughs> I've got some investigating to do. Does she say that? Am I just completely wrong? I don't remember. <laughs> no, she says the investigator is here. <laughs> investigator has arrived. Do you know why a witness would want to kill the council? Nice doing business with you. Let's see your crystal. Good. I know witness was growing to despise Montserrat. Thank you. Montserrat was tightening his grip on us all. Montserrat was giving into paranoia, worried about his precarious... No, about his precious perfect island. Business is business. You okay, Boo? Yeah. Okay, you just like blasted the mic for half a second. Oh, sorry. History was repeating. The island was shrouded in fear. We'd all grown complacent and happy in our freedoms. Montserrat had always been building towards a perfect island and a perfect syndicate. As you know, the syndicate was formed with the goal of resurrecting our gods. 24 islands in, and we weren't doing a good job. I have my ways. Almost all of the pyramids out in the ocean sit empty. Montserrat didn't care, though. He decided that was step two. Step one, investigate Montserrat. Um, let's say step one. What's step one, yeah. Step one was the Syndicate. Our efforts have always been divided between resurrecting the gods and improving the islands. If Montserrat could make the Syndicate perfect, we could give our full attention to the gods. I guess that makes sense. Uh. Why wouldn't Witness want to go along with that? You've been gone a while. Montserrat changed. So did Witness. Witness didn't trust Montserrat at all. The investigator is here. Has Witness been deceived by a god? Not that I'm aware of. I've never had that suspicion. I think this was just some self-radicalization. <laughs> he slipped further and further into worship and fear of the Astral Masters. You don't need to be deceived into being a servant when you've got a healthy dose of the end of time's fear in you. That's strange. 
So, witness murders the council to put the fear of the gods into them, and refocus the syndicate on our holy mission. I'm not saying that's what happened, but if you want to pin a motive on witness, I've, it's what I'm, I'd go with. Right. Witness believes we're heading for the end times. True. Mm. That's true. How can we have end times if our gods are dead or dormant? Only a handful of gods came to Earth. The rest of them are out there. The gods are serving are self-serving morons. They've never looked out for their own kind. Me. Take it up with witness. I have no time for religious debates. Alright, well, you told me a lot of stuff about witness. So I mm. might as well ask you more stuff. Recre ooh, request to trace a number. I already traced this number. But she might have different means, or she might just tell yeah. me to go to the tower and the... Because I might not know where to go, right? I might have come to her first. It probably yeah. is just going to there, but I'm kind of curious. Yeah. Any idea how I can track down a phone number? Business is booming. I have my ways. I could run a search for you. There's a service charge, of course. I'm curious if this doesn't give me new information or not. So yeah, yeah, give yes. a shot. Good we work. can share it. Thanks, lady. What's the number? Yeah, so this is the number that I think that we saw he called. Yeah. Like, we have record that he called this number, and now, but we don't know who that number belongs to. Okay, So cool. she's going to find out who that is. Yeah, cool, awesome, great. Yeah. 833-2112-ES-911-6RD. Thank you. Let's see. Nothing. That number isn't registered to a phone on the island. Ask about unregistered phones, I guess. Yeah. Other unregistered phones? No, Masahiro controls the phone output. Everything is registered. I have a back door into their system so I can scope the numbers. Is there anything else that could have a number attached to it? Not a clue. You're gonna need to go looking. Mm. So we paid for confirmation that it's not a phone number, it's something else. Like maybe he phoned yeah. like a fax machine or something, right? Yeah. Which I think is actually, we might have figured this, uh, heard about this last time that you missed. Um, when we were talking to Carmelina, she said yeah. that she saw Witness fiddle with his phone and then brush off like he didn't do anything. And the idea that he was Ooh. sending like a command to like a remote device or something. Uh, right? Like that that sounds like a reasonable thing that you that you, yeah. you still use the like it would still like read as a phone contact even though it's like I don't know why like if I was going to use my phone to control a remote control thing it wouldn't read as a phone number. <laughs> it would be Wi-Fi. But you know like could, maybe that's how it works. I don't know. Well, I mean Well, okay, no, that's a, because I, I feel like you know like cuz I think he did some remote operation of something. I think he yeah, like activated I mean, the bomb. Yeah, I mean, obviously something. these aren't like real world phones, but it's like, you yeah. know, like when someone sets up like a phone bomb or something, like that that's like connected to an, another actual phone. I mean, so historically, like, yes, but like if yeah. I was to do that, I I I wouldn't do it that way probably. Right? Yeah. I'd probably use like an it, it would go through you'd still be able to track it. It would just be going through the internet instead of through phone. Content. Yeah. Wait, yeah, so. yeah. Phones, how would Weird. they work? I don't know. Um, don't anyway. Know. What else? Where was Witness last night? Did you see Witness last night? I heard Carmelina went to visit him last night. You should speak to her. I don't know why I never asked her that before, but it's weird. Alright, whatever. Yuri's alibi. Did you see Yuri last night? Maybe I can only ask about people that I've previously talked to, and I talked to them for the first time after I talked to her. That sounds true. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna say yeah, that's yeah. true. Yuri handles Lydia on the on the last night of the island. You should speak to her. Alright, who killed the Holy Seal Marshals? Can you tell me anything about the marshals stationed at the first seal? I already told you, one of the guards was Voth, Akiko's lover. Akiko must be pretty upset. <gasps> you haven't heard anything strange about the marshals on the night. Things take a little while to flow downstream. Need to wait for loose lips. Like mine! Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I literally told you that. Yeah. Murder of Grace Bloodlines. Oh, this Ooh, is a big that's... question. Yeah. Do you know anything about One Last Kiss? Don't be coy. Is that her name? She's good at hiding herself, but I've seen her. Ooh, the investigator is here. Do you know who she is? I figure some kind of spirit. I don't know who she was in her former life, though. So... <laughs> 
I know she said that a lot, but I like to imagine, like, she's, whenever someone, like, does an investigation, she's like, oh, oh, look, the investigator's here. All sarcastic, like, oh, oh, you're, oh, so you're the investigator now, kind of. Oh, what? Yeah. Like, Lady Love Dies is saying that sarcastically about the person she's interrogating? Yeah. I, I, well, I like to imagine in this context, that's what's happening. She's good at hiding herself, but I've seen her. Oh, the investigator is here! That, is that what you mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. I mean, she kind of is, though. She's like a secret master. Yeah. Uh, what do you know about the murder of Grace Bloodlines? Ah, that makes sense. Thank you. I have got something good. Are you buying? What you yeah. buying, stranger? Yeah. Thank you. Two crystals this time. Ooh, nice crystals. Do you think that... It's strange that Carmelina went to the exorcism. Got it. Seems like a dangerous situation for the architect. Very. There was a reason, though. Some syndicate members use encryption and messages to each other. There's a lot of politics and scheming on the island, after all. Right? Okay, we do know that Akiko's phone's encrypted. That's been confirmed. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. I, mon I monitor any communication that I can. The network traffic is mostly boring, but sometimes someone forgets to encrypt something. Ooh. While Carmelina was heading to Henry's apartment with Grace, she messaged Akiko and told her to step out of the room while Grace was doing the exorcism. Oh. Nanny, the hell? Her so-called lapse in procedure was planned. Sure was, lady. Sounds like a plot to me. <laughs> My work is never done. I mean, it was done for like nine million days, but whatever. We're gonna ignore that part. Well, no, she just wasn't doing it. It wasn't. It was more work being produced during those nine million days. Is there really a difference between your work being finished and you not being allowed to do your work? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Have you got a copy of this message? Uh huh. They realized the mistake and scrubbed their phones afterwards, so don't expect to be able to confirm this with their phones. Message from Carmelina. Besides, it was ten years ago. Everyone got a Masahiro upgrade since then. Very cool. Alright. Akiko's alibi. Did you see the Grand Marshal last night? I didn't see Akiko last night. You should speak to her. Literally, I saw no one last night, and no one saw me. I told you that when I gave you my alibi. <laughs> Is there anything else you can tell me about Henry's movements last night? I got nothing more than what Akiko says. The Daybreak's alibi. Did you see Lydia and Sam last night? Lydia should have been doing her fairy woman duties. The log at the gate should confirm something about that. Well, we should go to Gates, actually. I think we have. But I can do it again. Yeah. What do you know about Henry's demonic possession ten years ago? That's strange. Henry's possession worries me. Nothing has surfaced about it. It's either, as they say, or someone is keeping a secret. How did I get that knowledge to communicate with the gods? The library in the HQ is full of hidden grimoires. Full of forbidden grimoires. How did he get the knowledge? We, oh, how did he? Okay, that makes way more sense. Um, yes, um, so that is another thing that we found last time we were playing. We went into a library that it was just, there was just a door, and it turns out I'd never gone into it. <laughs> there was a library in there. And uh, yeah, we found records of him actually, like, of, um, of Yuri taking the book that oh. would have had that information. So Yuri totally could have fed that information to Henry. Okay. Yeah. Who breached the fourth holy seal? Oh, yeah, we are already on the fourth. Yeah, okay. That works ass. Oh, yeah, we don't know anything about the third, but we, we do have questions about the fourth. Really? <laughs> the first, second, and fourth. We don't, I don't know anything about the third, but first, second, and fourth. What did we learn about the fourth? Um. I don't know. I think you were there. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, okay. What do you know about the fourth holy seal? I have my ways. It's an open secret that it requires some kind of godliness. Oh to yeah, this yeah because uh, an open yeah, secret. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's skin of the god that uh, Yuri yep. won. Crying Grudge magic. had multiple people come and get his flesh, which yeah. they then uh, is a, is a component, for lack of a better term, to get through the fourth holy seal. I don't know in what way, but it's like the key to it. And um, yeah, people know about that. 
Yeah. An open secret? Word got out a while back. From who? Not sure. Just kind of bubbled up. Someone probably got loose lipped after a drink. Right. So everyone in the syndicate would know how to breach it. Not the specifics, but anyone says they don't know anything about it, they're lying, trying to cover their asses. Now, cover their asses, now you're here. That's interesting. Who said that? Who has lied? That's, that's an, actually an interesting point. Hey. Time to uncover some asses. <laughs> Go get him, Tiger. Yeah. Hey, do you want to hang out? Oh, we hang out. <laughs> Got time for a chat, Crimson. What are you planning to do with your amassed wealth? If trade is good, you're carrying a lot of blood crystals. <laughs> a quiet life. That's why I'm down here, away from the tower. Not the greatest fan of people. <laughs> Having a big chunk of change allows you to live your life in peace. Concerned, misanthropic, or remind you're still an idol. I'm gonna say you're still an idol. Yeah. I'm gonna poke your buttons. Yeah. You're still an idol. You still have your job to do. Don't be coy. We all have our crosses to bear. Good. Have you tried the new beer I'm on the can of? It's good. <gasps> oh, nice. I'm glad to be back. I bought a can. Last one on the island. That's true! That's true! Yeah, we actually did get one! <laughs> That's yeah, awesome! That would different if we had, yeah. <laughs> That's rad. You'd be like, oh, I haven't had it yet. Yeah. There's a competition to win a date with me with a winning ring pull. Anyone win? Good work. I'll let you know into a little secret. There are no winning ring pulls. Oh. I know certain things about the Dead Nebula Company. I told the CEO that I know these things, and she made the winning ring pull disappear. I'm not a prize to be passed around. Sorry. I dread to think what your file on me looks like. Thank you. I know all sorts, but there's always more to learn. Flirt, oh. Learn about me or worried or privacy. I mean, uh, uh, how can I resist? Yeah, let's go. Maybe you can learn more about me one day. Don't be a tease. Be seeing you, lady. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, like, if cool. there's, like, actual romance options in the game, we should, like, I put Crimson Acid. <laughs> you put Crimson Acid before we spoke to her. <laughs> I mean, fair, but also. Uh, yeah. May your journey be endless, and may you reach the moon. I don't reach the moon. I'm pretty sure that I use literally the exact same voice for Lydia and Crimson, and that's weird to me. I don't know why. That's weird. I don't know why that would happen, but I'm pretty Let's sure see, it's the how, same voice. How much stream have we done today? How much stream we done today? We are actually three minutes over. That is the perfect oh. time to end. Beautiful. Oh. What a good conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, and a phone right here. Amazing. And a phone right here. I was meaning. Thank you for pointing that out because I was meaning to check it as soon as we were done that conversation. I wouldn't have been surprised, and I'm not. So, uh, thank you everyone for joining. Uh, thank you for the raid, Yarnia. Um, this yeah. has been Paradise Killer. It's a weird game. Just, just Very let cool it wash though. over you, like yeah. so much of this. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, like. like the tides on the beach. That's right. And the moon's rise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hope you reach the moon, Darcy. I hope you reach the moon. Wow. So, this has been Hidden Gems and Other Eyes. I've been Darcy Bits. With me has been B. Have a good night.